Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are asking the question, how can we find closure about the situation? How can we find closure regarding a love relationship? Or how can we find closure regarding somebody? How can we find closure in grief? Or how can we find closure in a work situation? Or with whatever your situation is that you are stuck in, how can you find closure in it? Okay, and we're using tarot decks and we have five decks here. It's one, two, three, four, and five. Please make a selection of a deck. You may pause the video at this stage and go down to the description box where you will find the timestamp and um, you can go directly to uh, your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the deck number one, we will begin. So we're asking the question, how is it that we find closure? What is our path to closure in this situation? How can we actually find closure in this situation? I'm just going to put this back because I'm not ready. So what is it that we need to know in order to find closure within this context? First card. Okay, so in this situation, I see that um, your um, your interest in this particular um, person or situation has been unbalanced. Oh, there is an imbalance there. There is a sense that uh, you really uh, crave this person or you are obsessed about the situation and that you want to go forth and have what you would like, but you are overzealous. Uh, well, you are, yeah, you're overzealous and it's working against you. And they show me that. And, and as a result of you being, um, you know, you're wearing your heart too much on the sleeve or you're being too... Um, um, it's not about being too expressive, but you, it's like you are uh, taking 10 steps ahead of something. So let me, um, sorry, let me just give you an, let me just give you an example here. So if you are, for instance, interested in a person, okay, and you want to know how you can find closure with them, it's in this scenario, it's like you are so crazy about this person that you're not willing to hear or accept the fact that they are not in the same space that you are at and therefore you need to rein yourself back in. And the same goes for if you're in a situation, whatever the situation is, uh, perhaps in a work situation or in any other situation, you just are 10 steps ahead of yourself and you need to uh, you know, bring yourself back home and understand what is actually going on here. What is the reality of what's going on here? Separate your emotions that you have from actually the reality and, and you know, take a sev several steps back because your emotions are just, you know, um, way too exaggerated for the current context, okay? And you need to bring yourself within balance there. So that is one of the ways in, in which you can find, um, and that's one of the ways in which you can find your closure. The other way, uh, the, the result of, um, the, the, the thing about, if you do this right, uh, you're going to find that you, you're going to have uh, thoughts that are less negative or less, malicious right now i see that you're hurting and that you're in a situation where you want to gain closure because you are not happy okay um you things haven't gone the way that you wanted it to go and you've decided to walk away from it but there's still a lot of hurt here and it's because you've gone forth and you showed so much of enthusiasm to this person or towards the situation and you were received it wasn't well received okay you were received with uh, rejection on some level or something similar to a rejection, something that made you feel rejected. Okay, so it might not have been that they've rejected you or that that particular situation rejected you uh, or that institution or whatever it is that you're, whatever your question is, but it might be that you felt rejected because you had all this passionate uh, affection for the situation, but it wasn't well received, you know. And so this made you feel as if, um, this made you feel some degree of bitterness and resentment and uh, if you have a feeling of, uh, you know, you'd like to get back at them. 
or you'd like to show them something, you'd like to, uh, you know, you'd like to basically rebuild your dignity around the situation because you feel like your dignity has been stolen from you. You feel angry and you want to shout at them. You want to let them know uh, that what they've done is wrong and they shouldn't have done that. But what the cards are suggesting here is the way in which you find your closure is actually to measure your emotional response to the situation um, and understand, like take a step back, look at it from a bird's eye perspective and ask yourself, well, uh, have I responded in a balanced fashion? Have I responded in a temperate fashion with regard to the situation? Look at the actions that they have taken and or perhaps do this with a friend or somebody who have, you can look at it from a rational point of view, because you are very emotionally invested in this. It's very hard for you to see this because you, you feel this way. You know, you feel so passionate uh, about the situation. But you need, uh, perhaps if you, you could have a friend or somebody, you could sit down with you and, you know, you could recall the events and uh, the, the chronology of the events. And uh, basically, the, you know, understand uh, with a bit of assistance that you... You know, you you actually have perhaps um, misinterpreted certain aspects, or you've misread certain aspects here, or maybe they've behaved in a certain way, but you've misinterpreted uh, their their uh, reaction, and as a result, you're extremely emotional about it right now, and you you're quite angry about it, and you're quite bitter, and you want to hurt them, you want to you know go go back and say to them, well, you you shouldn't have done that, and you you are not a nice person because you've done done that. And I see that you you are hurting, but if you if you are able to rein back your your emotions with regard to the situation, if you are able to pull back and basically uh, just see it, you know, I'm not saying you've got to stop feeling this way. All right, so they're not advising that you stop feeling this way for this situation. Excuse the aircraft around my home right now, but what they are saying is that uh, you should. Um, just um, bring your rein in your affections, rein in your emotions, rein in your feelings, and bring them to a space of balance. So, and and when you do that, the hurt will not be so bad. When you do that, then you will realize that a lot of the hurt has been um, a result of the thought processes that have taken place since you've received that uh, response from them, which made you feel rejected or which made you feel like excluded. Or which made you feel like it, which made you feel like you weren't um, getting what you wanted ultimately. So your the way you're feeling right now has a lot to do with um, you know you just being really upset about the fact that you didn't get what you wanted, and when you when you understand um, that much of it is of your own uh, emotions having built up around the situation, and you see it for what it is. Then you'll be able to take a step back, uh, or then you you would have taken a step back in order to be able to see that, and uh, that is how you're going to be able to find your closure. Because what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to note that yeah, I've been hurting a lot, and the reason is because I I was so you know I care so much about the situation, I care so much about this person, and I've gone into it, and I put my heart on the line here, and I really offered them everything of me, and and they and you know I was ready to give up everything for them here. And, you know, the, the way they behave, they, they just, um, it, it's as if they threw me out. It's as if they pushed me right out. And how can I not feel this anger? How can I not feel these emotions? But uh, when you've, when you've, you know, you come to a place where you understood, okay, well, I'm feeling really upset about this, um, not just because I feel this, but because I was expecting something else and it went contrary to my beliefs uh, or it went not contrary to my beliefs, but it went contrary to what I thought would happen or they'd given me, oh, I think I misread their, their um, what the signals that they were giving me. I Maybe I, I built up too much of an expectation around um, the signals that they were giving me and perhaps I uh, it was too um, loaded, you know, the, the perception that I had about their their actions and so as a result what's happened is that I've I've hurt I've been hurt yeah I've been hurt uh, but the hurt is actually not so bad because in fact what I realized at this point is that they weren't really saying what I thought they were saying I actually feel the rejection far more intensely than they in fact ever intended to to 
to make me feel. It, was, it wasn't like they were rejecting me. In fact, they were just stating their preference. And I was, um, and I'd taken this way too close to my heart. And yes, I did, did that because uh, I, it's a, you know, I really care about the situation. I really care about this person and it's hard for me, but I can now uh, see it in the context that it is understand that I do feel this way about this person, but I don't need to hold on to this pain any longer. And I can feel the pain and know it for what it is, acknowledge it, but I can also let go of it and I can see it for what it is. And that's going to ease the pain a whole lot more. So for those of you who've chosen um, this deck here, well, I hope that you've, uh, I hope that you've gotten some some um, clarity around how to be able to find closure in this situation. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So for those of you who've chosen the second deck, uh, which was this one, the question we're asking today is, how do I find closure with regard to the situation? How do I actually gain the closure that I'm looking for? How, what are the steps that I need to take to be able to have this closure? Uh, so in this situation, I feel that um, you've already taken a detached point of view. You've already um, ha you already have a fairly cold approach to the situation. It's as if you've left the situation already, but you are there's a lingering uh, resentment around it. But uh, you're too proud to actually do uh, to want to look at it and and really um, basically break it down and and basically see it for what it is. Um, and so the advice here for you is basically to say, well, you know, I've got to get off this, this space that I'm sitting in uh, where I feel uh, that this harm has been done to me or I've been wronged uh, and therefore I should take this particular stance. You've got to get off this space of defensiveness. You've got to step away from that approach because the defensiveness has served you until now, but you are now looking for closure and to have this closure, you need to give up this defensiveness. You need to be able to um, step out of your shell. You need to be able to open up to uh, feeling vulnerable and to be able to see the situation for what it is, to be able to feel the emotions and feel the, the sadness around the situation. So what I see right now is that you're feeling wronged and uh, you're feeling um, like you need to protect yourself. But when you start feeling the sadness around the situation uh, and you allow yourself this vulnerability, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to find a, a new path uh, out of the funk that you are in right now. And in doing so, you, you, what you have uh, is a, a real pathway, a real pathway to be able to build something for yourself, a real pathway that opens up for you to be able to uh, send a message perhaps to this person or to this institution or to this, whatever your situation is that you need closure from, you, it's like you're able to, you have a message for them at the end of this. When you're able to work through your anger and your defensiveness uh, or your, um, I don't, and I, hang on, this is not anger, this is a different emotion. It's more like a, just a cold defensiveness that, that you have. And when you're able to uh, walk away from, from, from that, or you're able to, uh, enable yourself to feel again, then uh, you're going to find, as I said, that a pathway opens up for you. And in that, there may be a, something where you have a message for somebody, or you may be, you may have a message uh, that comes to you uh, that, that basically shows you how you could go ahead. Uh, but this is only going to happen if you allow yourself to soften a little bit uh, in this situation and be able to feel the feelings and then to be able to forgive. Okay, so I would say that part of this, uh, part of the advice regarding uh, receiving closure here is to allow yourself to have the feelings and to grieve the situation. Uh, and uh, then uh, you, through that, you will find uh, an ability to forgive. Uh, and well, yeah, you, you, I would say that the way out of the situation is to be able to uh, feel the feelings, feel the vulnerability, and through that you'll be able to find a way of forgiving and uh, forgiving this person or the situation and letting go of it. And once you 
uh, are coming once you're out of that you'll find that you have a new beginning and a new path ahead of you of which you may embark upon uh, which will be guided and which will make you feel a lot more peace and a lot more able and a lot more freer than you feel right now uh, so right now you are entangled in the situation and it's as if just around the corner you have an, uh, um, you have the possibility of being free and being open again and to be placed back on your path where you can go along on your own journey and, and not be uh, blocked anymore by this situation because it feels very much like it's a blocked situation. And then the other, um, the other, the other advice that they're giving you is keep, um, when, when you find this newfound freedom or when you find this, um, this uh, this path that, that's going to be revealed to you once you're able to allow yourself to feel the vulnerability that you have around the situation. Uh, you need to still uh, 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 block the situation out of your life. So what we're saying here is not that um, you need to feel the emotions around this and not be blocked within yourself, okay, regarding the situation. And that's going to open up something for you. But you still need to be uh, blocked to, you still need to block that situation out or that person out, okay? But this is not an emotional uh, blocking out, uh, blocking uh, within yourself. This is you uh, uh, defending yourself or protecting yourself from uh, engaging with the, those people again. So this is, this is, you might be in the situation because somebody's actually hurt you or because they've, they've done you wrong. They've really done you wrong. And uh, the universe or the spirits are saying, basically protect yourself from that situation you don't need to, uh, in terms of feeling vulnerable, it doesn't mean you, you shouldn't protect yourself against the situation. Keep them at bay, okay? Don't bring them close to you. They're going to hurt you again. They are, This situation has the potential to hurt you again, so do protect yourself from them. And the way in which to find closure in this is, is once again, basically to go in, feel the emotions, feel the sadness, grieve that, mourn that, let go of it, forgive and then you will find a new path and a new freedom from that. But continue to keep those that situation or that person at bay. Don't bring them close to you. And uh, and this is going to help you to bring clo bring closure in your life. So uh, if you're in communication with this, if it's the person and you communicate with this person regularly, then uh, perhaps don't stop communicating with this person. You know, perhaps send them one last message after you've felt the sadness in your life, send them one last message and then block them or, or block them out of your life. Or basically, uh, I, I never advocate that somebody actually really block somebody on uh, messaging or, or WhatsApp or something like that. But what, I, what I'm what i saying is like, keep them at bay, like respectfully and kindly uh, keep them out of your life because they have the potential to bring more harm and more difficulty into your life, which you don't need and you don't want. And uh, this is going to help you bring your bring you to your closure that you require. So I hope that was clear enough for you. And I thank you for coming by uh, for those of you who've chosen uh, that deck. So for those of you who chose the deck number three, uh, this is it. And we're asking the question today, how do we find closure? How do we actually find closure in this situation? What do we need to do in order to find closure in this situation? Oops, I think that is it. Okay, so here I see that um, there's this situation is very much alive for you, okay? And it's not a, a simple matter of finding closure because you are not behind the situation. You are still in the situation. It's still very much uh, ha alive for you. It's still happening, you know? So this wanting to see closure might be a little bit premature in this instance because it's, an, it's not like you're not ready to find closure in this situation. Okay, but if you were, if you are committed to uh, finding closure, and if you want to really, if that's the, why you clicked on this. You want to find closure, and if you honestly want to find closure here, it's not just that you're saying, "Oh, I need closure in this. I want to get out of this because I'm angry with this person right now." You're not saying it's. If you're not saying that, uh, but uh, you are saying, "Really, I, I, I'm still in the midst of this, and I, but I do want to find closure." Then, in that case, uh, what you need to do 
is you need to step away from the situation. You need to protect yourself. You need to actually defend yourself within the situation. You need to be able to keep this person at bay. You need to be able to, uh, you know, protect yourself at all costs. And this may mean that you take a higher ground. It may mean that you would need to, um, you may, it would mean that perhaps you don't explain yourself to this person. It would mean that you take actions that is solely self-interested. It's solely in your self-interest that you are not going, uh, you're not engaging them any longer. You're not moving towards them any longer. You are simply moving towards yourself and you and towards your own goals. It needs you to be very focused on yourself to be able to, and what you need, to be able to find the closure within the circumstances. And so that's what it's saying to you. And a way in which you can go about doing this is, is actually ex accessing help from, um, from uh, you know, from a divine source, from spiritual help, um, you know, perhaps seeking some, uh, seeking out some uh, religious scripture to read, or perhaps meditating, uh, perhaps seeking the guidance of a mentor or a spiritual, some spiritual guru, or uh, but basically, it could also be seeking uh, help, like counseling, to be able to deal with the situation, but. Um, uh, you, you know, it could also mean just going inward and working within yourself and to attain a higher spiritual uh, fulfillment or alignment or attainment so uh, so that you can actually uh, get beyond the situation because what it, it requires a degree of strength that comes from outside of you, okay? It, requ it requires a sense of guidance that you don't have right now to be able to extract yourself from the situation, to be strong about it, to be able to actually find closure. But what I'm hearing is mostly is that there's like a very few of you who actually want to have this closure. What I'm feeling is that most of you are very angry and uh, you're still in the midst of this and that you actually, there's a lot more of communication that needs to take place here and there's a lot more fire fire that needs to actually um, be exhibited or not exhibited, but be, be pushed out of you. There's a lot of fiery energy that needs to come out of you. There's a lot that needs to be said. There's a lot that needs to be dealt with. There's a lot of back and forth that still needs to take place. And then after that, you will be seeking your closure. But I feel that if if you do this, you know, for those of you who are not sure about whether you want closure, but you really just want to run away from these the situation of this peop this person, you want you want to end to this to the situation, um, then I think that what'll happen is that after this back and forth uh, communication will be so intense and it will be so revealing that you will be able to attain your closure quite easily. So there are, uh, from this particular deck here uh, with this background, you have uh, two options, yeah? For those of you who actually truly want your closure right now and for those of you who are actually uh, upset and uh, not really wanting closure but really wanting to be able to express your anger regarding the situation. So I hope that's been clear and I hope that's helped you. And uh, yeah, I hope that you're able to find the clarity and the closure that you're looking for. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck, the deck number four, we're asking the question today, what is it that I need to do to find closure? What is it that I need to do to find closure in this given situation or with regard to this person? I feel that um, there is a kind of obsession or a kind of infatuation that you have for somebody which is not reciprocated. As a result, you're unable to move on. Um, you're unable to find a path. You're unable to focus on your own goals. You're unable to move ahead and to be able to uh, create something for yourself, to be able to uh, move forth in your life. It's, it's as if you can't get this person out of your head. It's as if you believe that you have a twin flame situation with this person or that they are the one for you and um, they actually are not reciprocating. They are not showing you that they really love you. They may have given you some signals to say, well, you know, I actually am attracted to you or uh, something like that, but they haven't moved ahead. They haven't 
taken any action towards you to show you that they actually going to uh, come forth in a relationship and uh, but you have invested in this idea you've invested in this idea of pure love of a divine connection and you are invested completely in your feelings and your dedication and your commitment towards this person and as a result you are locked in a bubble in which you're unable to step out and see the wood for the trees or see how your life can be without this person so what is your advice regarding the situation well it's simply to say you need to understand that this is not the way in which you what what you're feeling right now is not actually real right this person doesn't actually uh, or this institution or this situation that you're in uh, ha is is not it does not include you the situation that you're in has no space for you you need to extract yourself from that situation and find your own path again. It asks you to go back and ask yourself, who are you? Who am I without this person? Who was I before this person came along? What role are they playing in my life? What gap are they filling in my life? Why have they become such a central focus in my life? Why is it that this person is taking up so much of my time and so much of my thoughts? And I know that you want to say, well, this person's my twin flame. This person's not your twin flame. This person's not your karmic either, okay? This person's not interested in you. And this person, or if though for those of you who are, are, I know this is not going to apply to everyone, but for those of you who are, who've chosen this because of a love situation, because it's, it screams to me of love. This person is actually just not into you. Okay, and you need to acknowledge that. And the moment at which you can be honest with yourself regarding that, and the moment at which you stop obsessing about this person and you step out of this uh, infatuation that you have um, and, and see it for what it is, then you can start living in reality once again. And you can start, uh, you, can, you can set a path for yourself and you can move ahead with yourself and you can see the wood for the trees. You can set some goals for yourself. You know, go back to yourself and understand who you are. And see where you are, where you feel empty in yourself, because it's there that this person is, that you've created this person to fulfill that need, or that, that gap in your life. And uh, this person exists, yes, or this situation exists, but this situation is not the answer to every question in your life. You have an existence uh, that is greater than this person. And it's for you to acknowledge that and to realize that and to see the blessings in that and to feel gratitude for what it is that is you, regardless of this person. And when you're able to feel that, then you're able to move on and set a path and a goal for yourself. And this is an important part of your closure, of regaining your closure. It's about realize, realizing that this is actually an obsession, realizing that this person and this love that you feel is not real, but it's actually something that's conjured up in your mind to fulfill the need that you have and working with that and healing that and then setting some goals for yourself yeah and that's when you're going to find clarity and this is when the clouds are going to part and the sun is going to come forth and this is when you're going to be able to look forth um for, and look forward to something that's actually going to be fulfilling for you and going to be something that feeds you, really feeds you and feeds your soul. Because right now you're feeling a hunger. It's like your soul is starving. It's starving and it's desperate for you to be able to look at yourself and see that you are you you are in a maze. You found yourself in a cul-de-sac. You, you need to turn around and come out of that space. This is not going to lead you anywhere. Okay. And if you can realize that, yeah, then you can find the closure. What I feel though is that you don't realize that and you're still harboring hope for this person and expecting them to come forth because you believe that they are the one for you, but they are not. And this is very clear here. Okay, so they are, you know, they're there to kind of mirror the inadequacy that you feel within yourself. And that inadequacy that you feel within yourself is what you actually need to be working on at this moment. All right. So I hope that you can find that healing and I hope that you can find that closure with the situation and I wish you a great deal of luck and, um, and I hope for you that you have the angelic support that you need uh, to be able to go through, get through this and to be able to find the closure that you need. Okay, so thank you very much for those of you who've chosen this uh, deck here. 
So for those of you who've chosen the final deck, uh, the last, the very last one, uh, which is this one, the question we're asking today is, how can we go about finding closure? How can we go about finding closure with regard to the situation? Situation. I'm being shown that you have everything that you need right now to be able to move beyond this. You know, it's almost as if you don't even need to be asking this question. It's almost as if you've come to this reading just uh, out of curiosity and you're just here to kind of see what is said about the situation or how you can go along and, and find closure. Because what I find here is that you have everything that you need to be able to uh, move along incisively and to be able to cut uh, through a path for you to be able to uh, find the closure. And with that, you will receive great rewards. So if you want closure within the situation, you need to be able to formulate a path, formulate a way out of the situation. You need to sit down and put it down on, in a point form, you know, exactly how you're going to go about getting over this person or getting over the situation and moving on from there. You need to be able to work through that uh, list or that a set of uh, guidelines that you're given to yourself systematically to be able to find your way out of the situation. And I feel this as it might have something to do with like a material thing, because I feel that it's as if you're being um, like part of your finding closure, uh, it's it's almost as if some of the scenarios I'm picking up here is that this is for somebody who wants closure in a material way, like so they don't they have like a situation with money or a financial instability in their life, and they're asking how can I find closure uh, around that, and how can I then move on from that so that I can create something for myself, so I can create greater financial stability for myself, and with other people, I feel like it might be a situation with work where you're asking about closure. Well, how can I get over? this uh, project or this situation here, uh, how can I come from a space of, uh, how can I put closure, bring closure to the, the, the lack of movement in my work or the thing that's the situation not really taking off off the ground and bring myself to uh, another situation. That's what I'm feeling, okay? So I'm sure that some of you have chosen this for love as well, but this is the, the kind of energy that I'm picking up around this reading or these set of cards and I feel that uh, the way to do it is as I said to set out your goals set out where you want to head where you want to get to set out your goals set out step by step how do you want to go about achieving it and then set yourself on your path to do so and be diligent about it and be committed to it and actually uh, you, there are going to be times when you feel like you can't do this and you're going to relapse and go back to feeling the way you were feeling but actually what you really need to be doing is putting your head down focusing on what you need to do in order to be actually uh, getting out of the situation, to be able to find closure within the situation and doing it. And you know exactly what it is that you need to do. Okay, you do know what it is that you need to do. Uh, you just need to clarify it for yourself. You need to just put it down into paper. I just keep seeing that you're making a list, you know. And um, when you when you put it down in paper, you'll be able to. It'll come. It'll be more clearer for you. So it's like you will understand how uh, if you work through this thing, this uh, set of steps that you have, uh, that you will actually get to your goal in the situation and I see that goal is is guaranteed I see that you do reach your goal you do have your closure you do have your success you do you are really happy and you do receive your reward you know uh, so to say in this in this and but you have to be the one who creates it okay because and you have all the strength and you have all the ability you have the ability to be able to do this but you need to be able to be consistent with it and you need to be able to be committed to it Okay, it requires that from you. And that's the only thing that you don't have right now, which is something that you need to work on. So how is it that you go about um, uh, receiving closure? Yes, you make a list 
of things that will help you receive the closure that you're looking forward to. First, you can define the closure that you're looking for. Then you make a list to how you can go about getting there a step by step um, um, uh, guidance so that you can assist yourself through that. And then you commit yourself to it and you remain with it until you reach your goal. So I hope that has actually given you some real guidance and that that has answered your question. Uh, I feel that this is this last deck here has been very specific for people who are, you know, it has a very different energy from what we've been talking about in the other decks. And um, it just feels like you have everything that you need. You don't feel like a broken person. You don't feel like somebody who needs help from another person. You have everything that you need and you're not beholden to another person or an institution or anything else. You actually have so much that you can create from and it's all within you and it's all about um, maintaining this clarity and this dedication but actually um, in order to do that like begin it begin the process this is what it's asking you to do begin the process um, carve your path and work towards where you're going to and this is what it's saying to you so I think this is a very empowering kind of uh, and very strong uh, reading here and I feel that your closure is not far away from you in fact it's it's something it's almost as if you have your closure already or you can like you can you can have that within an instant and uh, you will get what you're looking for so um, I'd like to say thank you for those of you who've come by and uh, partake in, in this um, in this reading and um, yeah it was great having you uh, all here today and um, I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed as well and um, all of you who may who leave these wonderful comments in my, in the comment section thank you so very much I appreciate all the love and all the support that I receive and um, yeah thank you very much and uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising